Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation. In this session, I'm going to give you the demo of this application Tecla Excel Live Link. This application can be used for checking your model. And if you want to make any changes to the Tecla objects, change it in the Excel sheet. It will automatically modify the Tecla objects. Let's see the demo. Once you double click, it opens this application. Now user can choose global attributes and user different attributes and add to that Excel column sheet. So whatever the data that you see it on the right side. So these are the information this application is going to extract from the Tecla model. Of course, you can change it. To add any new property, select and type the first two letters. I typed F5, finish, add this row and then uh, class attribute. So I type CL, check the box and add this. You can use these two arrows to move up and down. You can run this application by selecting the members in the model or you can use this filter option. Once you tick this box, it will automatically activate this drop down list. The application is reading the selection filters from your system. Now I'm going to extract data only for the rafter. Select and click synchronize to Excel. Before you click, make sure that Excel sheet is open. And if you have multiple sheets, select the sheets to make it active. Synchronize to Excel. Now you can see the data. I'm going to select only a few rows here and then click highlight objects by selected rows. And this option, it will automatically filter the rows and click show all rows now. I'm going to run it for all steel. I select this all steel and synchronize to Excel. Click this and then uh, sort out this one. If you want to change any data, as I said, you can update the Excel sheet and it will be automatically modified in Tecla. I'm going to take only rafters and purlins for example. And then click OK. I'm going to change all these attributes to 1. To modify the data, you don't have to select all the rows and columns. Just select the rows in one column. It could be anything. It could be, you know, class attribute or part start number, part prefix could be any column. And then I'll just click synchronize model by selected rows. You can see the classes are updated and you can change any data here. It could be a material part prefix or part start number. Now, if you just wanted to add any new user different attributes, I'm just typing prefix underscore assembly because uh, this user defined attribute is not uh, out of the box. I created this one. So the data type is uh, string, click to add and then the start number. So this is also string um, in the uh, objects.inp file so let me just keep it as string remove these ones because i'm going to run this one for uh, panels let me take a new sheet and then synchronize to excel now you can see here prefix assembly and then the start number so let me just quickly show you. So 
we can see this PC one. This application even be quite useful if you have IFC model and then if you wanted to make some changes to the data. Let me just take you to an another model. These are the members converted from IFC model. For example, you can see this. Let me show you for these members. And then once I run this, once I click synchronize to Excel, you can see this data equal angle still undefined and the classes is 992. Obviously, it is going to take a lot of time if you just try to do it, uh, you know, um, the properties inside Tecla, but I'm going to run it from Tecla Excel sheet. Um, maybe let me just take this one. Okay. I have already extracted the data and made all those changes here. So here is the data of these members, equal angle and the material and uh, the start number if i show it here you can see this uh, phases so by face and uh, what i need to do is i just remove this one and then take face So the data has to match name, profile, material, part, prefix, class attribute and face. As I said, you can select uh, any one column. And then synchronize to model by selected rows. Now you can see everything has been updated. Because uh, all the phase ones, the class is one, and uh, phase two class is red, and phase three is uh, green, and this one is blue. And materials been updated. Previously, it was uh, still undefined, and the name was also not correct. Equal angle. Now, once I double click on any of this member, now you can see. Because I do have some minor issues. It is nothing to do with this application. Uh, obviously, when you bring any IFC objects into Tecla, and I mean, it keeps the reference point in the middle. So I do have an, another application to quickly change it. So maybe there you can see. So. What I do is I select all these members and click position. It will change the reference point of all these members without moving it. This application, as I said, it is very powerful and it, it will also eliminate manual checking process and any update that can be done quickly through the Excel sheet. Feel free to get back to me if you have any specific question and thank you for watching this video.